Hi, and welcome to Yin Yoga for Adapting to Change. Please join me in a comfortable lying down position, whatever that means for you. If you're on your couch or in your bed, you might fall asleep. That's okay. Um, otherwise, maybe on a yoga mat and get whatever you need to feel really comfortable. If you do have blocks or a bolster, you could put them under your thighs for a little bit of extra support on the lower back. I have the blanket under my hips, but you could have the blanket folded under your neck, your head. And you can also have your blanket over you as a way to stay, whoop, <laughs> as a way to stay cozy and warm. Um, so yeah, if there's a, a lot of sensitivity in the lower back. You're also welcome to do this just with your knees bent. This is another thing you can do. We want the shoulders to be slightly apart, the shoulder blades relaxed on the back, palms facing up. This will help to just create a bit of openness in the chest, the feet slightly apart as well. Just let the weight of the body register. See if you can feel the contact points between yourself and the ground. Take a deep breath in, hold the breath a moment, feel any residual tensions right now come up to the surface and let it go with a big sigh. <sighs> Again, inhale deeply, hold the breath a moment, and exhale a sigh. Toggle the jaw a little bit. Make sure that your jaw is relaxed. Swallow to relax the throat. And then bring awareness to the top of the head. The top of the head. Feel the top of the head relax. And the back of the head getting heavier in the ground as though the ground were rising up under your head to support the entire weight of the head and of the brain. The brain relaxed. Imagine your thoughts, the heaviest thoughts slipping out through the back of the head and dissolving into the earth, creating space in the mind, space in the mind, like a garden that you just weeded and tilled, ripe and ready to receive new seeds. Patience, loving kindness, seeds of faith. And then continue your way down to the eyes and relax the eyes. Feel the eyes sinking deeper into the head. Feel the forehead soften, the cheeks relax. Relax the lips, letting them part slightly. Relax the jaw one more time. And feel yourself moving from external hearing to internal hearing, internal sight like a turtle coming into its shell. Pratyahara, turn the senses inward and move your way down again to the neck. Relax the neck, soften the shoulders. And bring the awareness to the right arm and relax the right shoulder down to the bicep and tricep into the elbow the forearm, the wrist, hand, fingers, and fingertips. Relax from the shoulder to the fingertips and the fingertips to the shoulder, the right arm relaxed. Bring the awareness to the left shoulder now. Relax the left shoulder down to the bicep and tricep into the elbow and around the forearm, into the wrist, 
relaxation moving down through the hand to the fingers and the fingertips. Relax from the shoulder to the fingertips and the fingertips to the shoulder. Relax. Bring the awareness now to the chest and feel the chest relax, the heart and the lungs relax, the entire chest, the heart and the lungs relax. And feel the breath moving freely in the lungs. Bring the awareness down to the abdomen and relax the abdominal muscles and all the internal organs beneath, as if you were creating a little pool of, still, of stillness in the belly. The organs relax. The entire torso is relaxed, the front of the body melting into the back of the body. Relax. Bring your awareness to the back now. The back of the neck, the back of the shoulders and the shoulder blades, and the space between the shoulder blades. The back of the heart is relaxed and melting into the floor. You can almost imagine pancake batter coming into a pan and spreading. That's how it feels. You're spreading the light of the heart through the upper back and then relax the mid back, including the kidneys and the adrenals that sit on top of the kidneys. With this gentle, relaxed breath, effortless breath, the kidneys and the adrenaline cool and relax. Relax the lower back the lower back is relaxed, all the way down to the sacrum and even the tip of the tailbone. The entire back is relaxed and the spine is relaxed. Feel that you are snaking through from the cervical, through the thoracic, to the lumbar spine and back down again to the sacrum and the tailbone. So from the top all the way to the bottom of the spine, Relax the spine and the space in between each vertebra. Relax. Relax the hips. The entire pelvic area is relaxed. Relax the pelvis and then bring your awareness to your right leg and relax the femur bone in the hip socket. Relax the right thigh down to the knee, into the shin and the calf, down to the ankle, to the foot, the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, to the toes and the tips of the toes. The entire right leg is relaxed from the hip to the toes and the toes to the hip. Relax. Bring the awareness to the left leg now from the hip femur bone relaxed in the hip socket. Relax the thigh bone, the thigh muscles, down to the knee, the knee to the shin and the calf, and make your way down to the ankle. Feel the weight of your heel on the ground, and then relax the foot, the top of the foot, the sole of the foot, down to the toes and the tips of the toes, the entire left leg is relaxed from the toes to the hip and the hip to the toes. Relax. The entire body is relaxed from the head to the toes, from the head to the toes, from the head to the toes. The physical body is relaxed. The breath is relaxed. The mind is relaxed. And 
you are now resting deep inside, feeling the undercurrent of Sat Chit Ananda, truth, consciousness, bliss. Rest here in this unchanging place. It's only when we are relaxed that the body has a chance to prepare. The body is repairing itself. And the little seeds that you planted of patience, of loving kindness, of faith, are growing in the same way that when we present all the right circumstances, the little plants grow by themselves. And there's no force to it, it's completely natural. So the ground of relaxation allows for these little sprouts to be cultivated effortlessly. Effortlessly cultivating love, kindness, compassion, patience, and take a deeper breath here. Exhale completely. Slowly start to wiggle the tips of the fingers and the toes. Rotate the wrists and the ankles. Deep in the breath. And take the arms overhead, the toes away into a nice big stretch. Bring the soles of the feet to the ground and rock over to one side. Pause here in fetal pose with your bottom arm as a cushion for the head. And once again, take stock of how things have changed, how you are an agent of change for the positive, for the best. That every effort that you make counts and matters. And even if that change or that effort is to be easy to go easy on yourself when you don't have time to do these practices. There's always time to step back and observe yourself with loving kindness, to take a deep breath, to smile. So let's take an mm breath here. Mm. and press up slowly to seated position. And give yourself a really 
big smile of appreciation for having taken this time for yourself. So, so important. I'm giving you and sending you so, so much love wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is. I hope that this has brought you a little bit of sol solace um, of love and comfort and um, that you feel a little better than you did when you first started. So again, if you have any comments, anything that you want to share, any practices that you would like to see, please message me. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, um, and for my students in Montreal, may there be peace in your heart, peace in your home, and peace in the world. Namaste.